Hello and welcome to English and News. This is Ratnakar. Welcomes you to English Bulletin, sharing your information about city and around. The news in detail. Mayor Sandeep Joshi on Thursday tweeted that he has tested positive for COVID-19 and requested everyone who came in contact with him in the last couple of days to isolate themselves and get tested if they report any symptoms. The mayor is admitted to a private hospital in Dantori. Joshi's wife and daughter too have tested positive. Their symptoms are relatively mild and hence home isolation was advised. In a tweet, Joshi informed after fighting COVID for the last eight months, the virus has finally infected me. My friends, I have tested positive for corona. I am taking treatment under medical guidelines. I request everyone who came in contact to get tested. His family told reporters that he was running fever following which he got himself tested. Soon after his report came, his family too underwent tests. His mother was found corona positive. Furious and frustrated over his love relationship going caput, an enraged youth reportedly killed his alleged girlfriend, 70-year-old grandmother and her 10-year-old brother by slitting their throats in a Zaripar area under Kitty Kadan on Thursday. The deceased have been identified as Lakshmi Bai Durve and Yash Durve. According to police sources, the accused juvenile was in relationship with the girl. Girl's family was against their relationship and would often oppose juvenile in order to break their relationship. For the past couple of days, Lakshmi and grounded the girl and didn't let her contact juvenile. Annoyed over this, the accused juvenile reportedly approached girl's resident on Thursday. Annoyed over this, the accused juvenile reportedly approached girl's resident on Thursday evening carrying a knife and in the fit of rage slit the throat of Lakshmi and Yash with a sharp edge weapon before fleeing the spot. Police personnel have reached the spot and commenced investigation further. The Maharashtra cabinet on Wednesday approved the draft of Shakti criminal law bills which contains provisions of stone punishment including death penalty for serious crimes such as rape, acid attack and child abuse informed Home Minister Anil Deshmukh. The bill Maharashtra Shakti Criminal Law Act 2020 and the Special Court and Machinery for Implementation of Maharashtra Shakti Criminal Law 2020 will be tabled during the two-day winter session of the legislature commencing on Monday. Last December, the Maharashtra government had announced that it is bringing law on the lines of Andhra Pradesh Disha Act with the provision of death penalty for rape instead of the current punishment of around 10 years. The draft bill provided for completing investigation and trial process swiftly. Also, special police team and separate court will be set up for investigation and trial of such cases. The three-month-long investigation into the sequence of events leading to the death of four members of a family, a couple and their two children who were found dead at their home in Karadi last August, indicated that the woman was the one who was responsible for it. Dr. Sushma Rane had killed her husband, Dheeraj Rane, Sandru and daughter, Vanya, by giving them overdose of succinolacycline injection and committed suicide by hanging herself from a ceiling fan. Husband's alcohol addiction his doubting and strange behavior led Dr. Sushma to take the extreme step, informed DCP Zone V Nilakpal here recently. Dheeraj Rane, 42, a lecturer in a reputed college, his doctor wife Sushma, aged around 40, and their two children, 11-year-old Drew and 5-year-old daughter Vanya, were found dead in their home in Om Nagar, Koradi. The Ministry of MSME Government of India has enacted the Micro and Small Enterprise Cluster Development Program for the development of MSEs in the country. Under the MSE CDP scheme, Ministry of MSME Government of India has granted approval for setting up of Common Facility Center in Auto Engineering Cluster located at MIDC Hingana, informed PM Parleva, Director MSMEDI, Nagpur, while speaking at a press conference on Thursday. He added that the foundation stone lying ceremony and Bhumi Pujan of CFC on December 13 will be done at the hands of Union Minister Nitin Gadkari, Member of Parliament Rupal Tumane, along with senior executives of Mahindra and Mahindra Company. Ashok Leyland will be present as guest. Parliament also informed that the cluster comprises of total 716 numbers of micro small enterprises in auto and engineering sector which are located in Hengna. Well, that's all from this bulletin for more updates in around the city. Stay tuned with NBC News. Till then, Ratnaka takes the leave. Please take very good care of yourself and family.